اور حاسب السلام علیکم شیخ السلام علیکم اللہ Um, I have a question, Sheikh. Um, so I have a, I go to certain events, um, um, like a business event, events, uh, where I have to like talk to people for uh, business purposes. Uh, but every time I talk to all these, um, you know, big CEOs and of the companies and stuff like that, um, I feel, um, you know, like, uh, some certain type of way I feel bad and, because I can see their evil, uh, eye and fake mask that they put on their faces. So. I just have a question. Um, you know, I can't just like say like I can't go there and uh, you know, I still have to go for the business purposes. So I was just trying to um, see how can I protect myself from the um, from those type of people and uh, to not maybe pay attention or how do, how do I solve this problem? Why would they have evil eye if you're pitching for a job and they are CEOs, they don't need you. They don't give, you don't give evil eye to someone who's way down below you who's seeking your uh, business and wanting something from you. So I don't understand your question. Um, it's not only CEOs, it's a lot of people that work with them and they, they have like, a, they, they have evil eyes. So like, and, and I don't know. It just, okay. Uh, so in order for you to protect yourself from evil eye, number one, you have to observe religiously the athkar in the morning, in the evening, after fard prayer, before going to bed, and before leaving your home. If you do this by reading the small booklet called Fortress of the Muslim, on my YouTube channel, you'll find a whole playlist of 70 episodes where Allah blessed me with explaining all the hadiths there. By reading these religiously and abiding by them, you'll be protected with the grace of Allah and you have no fear because it's like installing an antivirus. You're protected. It's a firewall that prevents their evil eye from catching to you. And inshallah, you will have the confidence to address them without fearing them. And Allah knows best. This is